Two years ago, I completed a coding boot camp style program. Some of these programs are increasingly popular and even go as far as to guarantee that you'll be making six figures as soon as you're done with their program. Did I go from making zero dollars to six figures? Absolutely not. But should that discourage you? No, and let's talk about it. Hey everyone, I hope you guys are having an awesome day and welcome to my channel. And if this is your first time seeing me, hi, I'm Brie and this is a space where I talk about tech, my experiences as a software engineer and maybe some tips and tricks that will help you get started with your career. Today, I am excited to talk about something that seems to be a little taboo for some people, and that is my salary, at least my first salary from my first software engineering position. Um, I think that we are getting better as a society with talking about uh, salary and being a little bit more salary transparent, especially because uh, we know that there are very large gaps in people's salaries uh, that have maybe the same job just because of things that they can't control. So I decided that I wanted to go ahead and talk about what my first salary was. So why am I sharing this at all? Well, number one, I think that this is one of the most common questions that I get if I take a look at like the comments on some of my other videos. And I also want to provide a real life look into an entry level position. Like I said a little bit earlier, some uh, places, uh, boot camps, colleges, things like that. Sometimes they guarantee that you are automatically going to go from making zero dollars to six figures just because you complete their program. And for some people, that is their reality. But for a lot of people, that's not exactly what happens. So what factors went into my salary? I had just completed my stint with Reviture, and if you don't know, I have like three videos on that whole program and all the craziness that went on and everything like that. But basically, it's a boot, boot camp style program where they put you through rigorous training and then you become a contractor for them for two years. So I was basically guaranteed a position for two years um, after I completed their training. Now I will say they did not guarantee that I was going to go uh, to six figures immediately after completing their program. And I would say that they were pretty salary transparent uh, from the time that I was offered the position. So the other thing is I also have a bachelor's degree in software engineering. So if you put those together, it's basically just three months of experience or training and a bachelor's degree. So what was my salary? It was 57,000 US dollars. In reflection, 57,000 really isn't bad, especially for someone who only has three months of experience. And this was basically my first adult job. And honestly, I know that my program didn't offer six figures, but they promised education and opportunities for me to learn and grow. And I was more hungry for the experience because I knew that experience and learning on the job and actually getting to learn from people is what I would need to command a larger salary in the future. I think your salary should be a reflection of what you know and what you have the potential to learn. And looking back, I think that the salary definitely matches what I did know at the time, but definitely what I have the potential to know. Once I started working, I did not know that there were so many things that I didn't know. And thankfully, the company that I'm working for has been able to see that I came in as a very, very junior developer with a set amount of skills and I didn't really know how to work them. And now I've been able to grow and flourish and they've been able to pay me more based on the things that I know now. It's awesome that some people are able to start as junior developers at 90,000 or $100,000 right from the get go, but that's not necessarily the reality for everyone. And I know that tech is sort of one of those industries where it's assumed that you're going to be making a lot of money for your whole career, but I wouldn't exactly rule out uh, positions that don't give you uh, a six-figure salary from the start. However, with that being said, I do believe that you should be paid for your worth and I, you shouldn't settle for less. But when I tell you I was more hungry for experience, I was really just looking for experience, a way to get my foot in the door, and looking for an opportunity that I could finagle and learn from. 
So I hope that you all were able to find this helpful. If you would like more videos on salary transparency and sort of negotiating your salary, let me know and I would be happy to make videos like that. If you enjoyed this video, please feel free to like and subscribe for more videos every Tuesday and Thursday. And I can't wait to see you all in my next video.